Sorry about that. I, I, this is Sally Gimmon. I am the owner of the TrustIsYou.com and a brand new um, uh, podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains. I have seven episodes already out there. I want to give you a little bit of history about myself and then explain to you how, how these tests will help you. Back in uh, October of 2018, I was living in Phoenix, and my mom and dad were in Goodyear, about 20 miles west of Phoenix. If you saw the Super Bowl last night, very close to that stadium. Uh, my nephew in Charlotte was getting married, and my parents drove cross-country. Uh, along the way, my mom got sick. Uh, she got septic in the blood, and she was on a ventilator for 13 months. Thank God my dad was a retired military officer. They had TRICARE for life, and everything was paid for. I was going, I, I, I flew out, um, I was doing a horrible job, I was a Medicare broker. People who are 65 years old, uh, turning 65 years old in the United States, are flat broke, angry, and don't realize they have to pay from their Social Security to get Part B Medicare. Talk about angry people. I, it was right in the middle of open enrollment, I flew out on Friday night, got to Charlotte, uh, landed at about 9 o'clock in the morning, went straight to the hospital to see my mom. I walked in as the priest was giving my mom last rites, and then I went to a wedding and had a fantastic time. My cousins from Ireland, my co uh, cousins from Pittsburgh, there were a lot of people coming, uh, coming to the wedding. Crazy, crazy time. Went back to Phoenix uh, because I had to go back to work, and I was uh, going through their mail every other day, and in December... I opened up my mom's uh, November 2018 Medicare bill that was 27 pages long. It's about this thick. And when I opened it up, it was $172,000. Wow. That's, to me, that was a lot of money. Thank God my dad had TRICARE for life. She was being t completely taken care of. But I can remember what I was wearing. I can remember what was happening. I picked up my cell phone. And I called my friend Glenn, who was, in real, uh, who was a real estate investor, and I said, Glenn, I need to change my life today. Glenn says, hey, we're having a party this coming Saturday. Why don't you come to it? Went to the party, met some people, had a great time. Um, I, uh, I self-directed my uh, traditional IRA and my Roth IRA. Got involved with real estate, loved it. Now, a few years later, my, by the way, my mom got better. Oh, uh, the rest of the story. What, what was his name who used to say that? The rest of the story. I went back at Christmas, and on New Year's Eve, she was on the floor in Pineville, North Carolina. 24 patients were all on ventilators. And on New Year's Eve, four different families took their loved one off the ventila uh, ventilator to take them home so they could die at home because they didn't have the money to pay for their deductible come uh, January 1st, 2019. To me, that was criminal. So I got involved with real estate and I started investing and doing quite well with this. Now COVID happens. My mom got better. By the way, my mom got better. She got home. Um, she did pass away, but uh, she, did, she did get better. Her memory came back. She was only m missing 13 months. So in July of 2020, I bought a $20,000 bank-owned reverse mortgage in uh, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. The bank needed to get it off its books. I paid $20,000 for it, and when COVID restrictions were going to be lifted, remember July 2020, who knew how long COVID was going to go? When COVID restrictions were going to be lifted, it was scheduled to go to auction at $50,000. Yay, Sally, I'm going to make $30,000 in today's money on that, on that one deal. Well, in my real estate group, uh, one of the instructors, the reason I joined my real estate group is Garrett Genderson has written a book called What the Rockefellers Do. It's now called What the Billionaires Do. And in it, he talked about the Rockefellers Trust that is seven generations old and uh, has over 400 people in it. I went down the rabbit hole, uh, one of those Super Bowl commercials last night, I uh, went down the rabbit hole to find out more about this because I knew they, uh, making $30,000, I was going to pay over $7,000 on my federal taxes for 2021. Uh, I bought the house in 2020. Uh, COVID restrictions didn't li lift until uh, I didn't get to sell the house until August 28th, 2021. And lucky Sally, it went up to $64,000. Woohoo! Yay, Sally! So I made $44,000 on that trust. And because of this trust, I saved over $10,500 on my federal taxes because the property was owned by the trust. Originally, it was bought by my LLC. Uh, just to let you know, it was easy to do. Two bills of sales. The first bill of sale was on September 1st, 2020, uh, moving it from 
I'll be honest, my real estate, my LLC was Sally's real estate team. If you ever want to know anything about that, Sally's real estate team, uh, selling it to Sally for $1, the address in Rocky Mount. And the second bill of sale is Sally Gimmon is selling uh, 11011 uh, to uh, the trust for $1. I was in Phoenix, I sent it to the attorneys in Raleigh. The only thing the attorneys in Raleigh asked me for was the first page of the trust. So I saved $10,500 with that trust. Now, just to give you an idea, uh, there's two trusts. There is the business trust for 1099 uh, in, uh, income. Uh, we have both. Uh, my brother has his brewery. My sister-in-law has our landscape design uh, company. And then I have three online businesses. Now, the second bit one is the beneficial trust that helps investors. I don't care if you're a real estate investor, crypto investor, crypto miner, stock market investing, uh, forex investing, day trader, Novatech, gold or silver. You need to know about uh, the, the beneficial trust. Now, both these trusts are, let me go over all the words so you can know exactly what's happening here. So it is irrevocable. It goes from generation to generation. And I have to apologize. I don't know how to bring people on live. So I invite live. So please forgive me. Irrevocable goes from generation to generation. The Rockefellers, seven generations. The, uh, the Gibbon Trust, we're only uh, uh, three generations. It must be complex. This holds money from day to day, month to month, year to year, decade to decade. My dad died uh, November uh, 2021. He had a revocable trust. And when I do his 2022 taxes, that trust is going to be done away with and all the money has to be dispersed to my two brothers and I. Discretionary. Whoever is the trustee gets to make the rules for the beneficiaries. I have uh, husband and wife clients in California. They have five apartments doing very well with their rent rolls. By the way, that's another thing the trust helps you save. But um, they have a, their daughter is involved in drugs and alcohol. They're requiring her to do four random drug tests to live rent-free rent in their, uh, one of their apartment buildings. She sued them. As soon as the judge saw the trust, he's like, uh-uh-uh, your choice. Live rent-free and do the drug, a drug test or move out. Your choice. Uh, Non-grantor. This makes it completely private. Somebody who is not a beneficiary and somebody I suggest you don't uh, uh, invest with because I've had some uh, investing deals go sour, uh, angry uh, fights and things. So... Be smarter than I was. I used a family friend. Uh, Roy was 87 years old. He knew me before I was born. And he had to sign his name 17 times for both the uh, business trust and the beneficial trust. He had arthritis of his hands, so it hurt him quite a bit. Not a good choice for me, but he was very happy to do that. If you don't, and we'll need the non-grantor social security number. And if you don't have someone who want to do that, either I can do this for you or a representative of the law firm that I work with can do it for them too. No problem. And then the fifth element, it's irrevocable, complex, discretionary, non-grantor, spendthrift trust. This, uh, this has gone in front of the Supreme Court twice to say that a spendthrift trust can enter any deal on its own and have its own entity. Now, with this trust, it is based in a uh, 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 tax code. If someone says this sounds completely false or it's not true, if the Rockefellers can have this trust, you and uh, U.S. presidents can have this trust, you too can have this trust. Just so you know, this trust is written in IRS code 643B, like boy. Let me tell you that one more time. 643B, like boy. So both the business trust and the beneficial trust are going to, one, help you save on federal taxes. Who doesn't want to save on taxes? Two, keep your information 100% private. And three, keep you from ever being sued again. Three major choice, uh, major things there, uh, right there, and uh, to know about. Now, just talking about the business trust. In my family, we have several businesses: the brewery, the landscape design company, my three online businesses. Any business that's 1099 would go through the uh, business trust. So, if you're a real estate agent, if you're selling something online, uh, uh, pills and potions, if you are uh, have a, a brick and mortar store, anything like that. People ask me, when should I look at the trust? When you're paying more than $50,000 in federal, uh, federal income taxes for your business, that's when you should start looking at the trust. It is a one-time payment, and then it sets you, you up for the rest of your life and leaves a legacy for everybody else. Now, with the beneficial trust, I want to make sure you all understand exactly what the beneficial trust helps you with. Capital gains. Let me read this statement to you directly from the IRS tax tip 
I, it's a very general uh, topic, but I want to talk about this. Almost everything you own and use for personal purpose, pleasure, or investment is a capital asset. Yikes. Talk about a very broad topic. Now, there's two different kinds of capital gains. There's short-term, a year or less, at 23.8%, and there is past legislation. Back in November 2021, those two huge bills that went through Congress, one was transportation and one was infrastructure, in uh, one of those bills, there is uh, legislation that got passed to raise ca uh, capital gains to 40% for people making more than $400,000 a year. I'm not there yet, but people might be. It's some people out there might be. Hasn't happened yet, but that's a lot of money. You sell something for $100,000 or you make $100,000 profit and you're at, uh, at 40%, you're paying the federal government $40,000 of your hard work. That doesn't seem fair. So that's why you should be looking at the beneficial uh, spendthrift trust. So capital gains short term, 23.8%. Long term, more than a year. So you're selling uh, a house, you're selling stocks or other things. That can either be 15% or 20%. For those of you out there selling a business, I don't care if it's a pizzeria, I don't care if it's an online business, any kind of business. I'm helping a gentleman sell his restaurant, uh, the family restaurant. It's been around for 42 years in Kentucky. He's uh, 69 years old and he's selling it March 30th. And at 15%, he's selling it uh, for $2 million. We're either going to sell, uh, I'm sorry, $3 million. We're going to save him either uh, $450,000 or we're going to save them $600,000. And the trust is only, I know you're all going to say this is expensive, but the trust is only $20,500 to have a whole team help you transition into the trust. Uh, again, uh, one trust is $20,500. Both business and beneficial trust, both trusts would be $37,000. We have a team that will help your non-grantor get set up correctly, get the EIN number, get the non-grantor taken care of. Uh, get you your um, paperwork to open up a bank account. We have the team to help you transition your personal property into the trust. Uh, put your cars into the trust. Put your uh, uh, everything else in there. You're not doing this on your own. So again, with the uh, beneficial trust, you're going to save capital gains, which can be very expensive when you're selling something. You're going to be saving interest income. Um, I, I do notes where I'm the mortgage on the house. That's, I get charged interest income on that. All that gets deferred forever. Dividend income. One of my clients inherited his parents' uh, stock portfolio. I wish I had a father who bought 100 shares of Walmart and 100 shares of Amazon. Uh, I mean, he's doing quite well. He got nailed with capital gains last year. And uh, we're working, we had to change a little bit of the paperwork. No big deal. It's easy to do. But now he won't have to pay, uh, he won't have to pay um, dividend income anymore. Rent rolls. I don't have any rentals, so I'm not very good with this, but I uh, just posted this uh, last week that if you're a single filer in the United States and you have $50,000 in rent rolls and you're not taking any depreciation or anything else on that, you would pay $11,000 on your rent roll taxes. Why not save that? If you have Airbnb, if you have short-term rental, long-term rentals, if you're in a, a real estate investment to, uh, club, if you've got a multifamily, rent rolls. And then something that's really getting uh, big in my, in my group is uh, uh, royalties. Royalties are going to be anything. Uh, I got uh, songwriters in Nashville. Uh, they get royalties for uh, writing their songs. One of my clients, quite honestly, her one song has been sung by four different artists and she gets paid each time that song is sung. Congratulations to her. She's making good money. NFTs, one of my clients, True story, over Thanksgiving, she did, she did a poster, uh, she put it out there to see if it would sell, it sold. So she decided she was going to do 1 to 100 posters of this. Her poster, her picture, sold for $1,000. Yay, nice money if, you can, if you're an artist. I am not. I, I, I'm not talented as an artist. So that first one, that is 1099 income. Number 2 through 100, that is royalties. So she sold 99 uh, 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 NFTs for, uh, uh, for $1,000 each, all went through the trust, and she does not have to use, uh, uh, pay taxes on that. That's nice. One of my clients inherited his granddad's horse farm in Oklahoma. He's got six oil wells on there. That's royalties. When I, uh, what, what, how I had handle this trust, that's royalties. Now, again, I'm going to suggest look at what you're doing to see if this is going to be correct for you. Uh, capital gains, 
interest income, rent rolls, dividends, uh, income, and royalties. Some of this might affect some of you. Some of this might not affect any of you. When you go out to thetrustisyou.com and you put in your information, you're going to get the slide deck I go over every Monday night. I have a, I have a live Monday night uh, Q&A, 8 p.m. East Coast time, where I go over the slide deck. And I, I have examples of what I'm saving in my trust. Uh, so just to give you an idea, that house in North Carolina uh, that I uh, put to auction, there was also a note that I, I sold that year, 2021. 2021, I saved over $14,000 on my federal taxes. Yay, Sally! Uh, also, you're going to see uh, uh, in the notes everything up to July 31st of 2022. I've done more than uh, more than that in the last six months of 2022. But again, I'm saving over $32,000 just on capital gains. I'll be honest, I wholesale. I don't hold, I wholesale. So that's what I'm, I'm saving capital gains on. I'm doing a little bit of uh, staking for crypto, not a whole bunch, but I, I, I've got some results there. I'm involved with Novatech where I put $500 in and I'm going to keep it there for five years and they're going to pay me compounded interest rate every single Friday. True story, I started uh, August, uh, July 31st, last Friday, I just, $500, I'm now up to $700. That $200 difference would be what the capital gains are on. I'm going to keep it there for five years and see how far I go. Uh, I also have a crypto bot, making me a little bit of money, only about $32 a day, but hey, that's more than I was making yesterday. Um, I also have, I put $10,000 into a friend of mine, took my $10,000 and he's doing options trading for me. Every quarter I get the first 25% and then we split anything above that. Uh, he has done very well for me. But anyone who's doing Forex trading, day trading, stock market trading, options trading, this trust is going to save you so much money. It's not a necessity. It's only if you're, uh, I'm telling people, if you're making $50,000 or more in profit, you should be looking at either the business trust for 1099 income, or you should be looking at the spendthrift trust for investments. Again, my website is thetrustisyou.com. Uh, the, the, that's a squeeze page, and there's another page once you become a client, so find out about that. And my new podcast is Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. If I can help you save money, uh, no matter what kind of real estate investor you are, crypto investor, crypto miner, uh, uh, forex trader, day trader, stock trader, options trader, I'm here to help. I hope you all have a beautiful week and thank you for listening to me today. I'm sorry, I have a cold so I'm all stuffed up. So have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.